Well, I'm back, Blake with Boulevard Home. I've been doing the appliance industry for 29 years. We did a last video on my favorite appliances. We rated appliances, in my opinion, on appliances, what to buy, what not to buy, and in the order that we should buy them. But we had a lot of comments talking about Mila appliances. What about Mila? What about Mila? What about Mila? There are differing opinions on Mila. I will give you my personal opinion on Mila. Mila is a fine appliance. They have some great appliances, they have some great innovation. They're German, they do everything the German way, which means they over-engineer everything and they over-test everything. Great, they are fabulous appliances. They work, they have all these neat features, like the dishwashers have their own built-in heaters with them. Now, what I mean by heaters, they put a reservoir on the side of the dishwasher, so as the dishwasher is heating up the water inside the dishwasher, it's heating the water sitting in the reservoir next to it. So the next time it fills, it fills with the hot water that's been heated sitting on the side of the dishwasher. So your dishwasher works faster, better. They have knock-knock dishwashers, meaning you put panels on them, you can knock on them and the dishwasher door opens up and it's fabulous. And they have these wonderful steam ovens that add steam to them. So when you're cooking, it keeps your foods moist. You don't cook all the moisture out of them and they're not very big. They're small, pretty compact. They're great. But this is the thing I don't like about Mila. Anybody from Mila watching, we love you guys, no offense. This is what I don't like. Their stuff is very proprietary, meaning they don't share much information on them. We have no information at the home most of the time, unless we have laptops and everything else we have to dig other stuff out of. A lot of times when you call into their technical support, it's kind of difficult to talk to them at times. Sometimes you have to set appointments, which means if I have to set an appointment for this time and I'm at your house at this time, then we're kind of waiting. The other thing about Mila that a lot of people overlook is the cost of the appliance. It is a significant investment for this appliance. and it is is worth the investment, don't get me wrong. On the other hand, the repair costs, they're a good chunk of it. For example, to replace a control board in a Mila steam oven, I mean, the oven again is like $2,700, maybe more. I had to replace a control board in one just before Christmas time. Retail was almost $900 just for the part. Now, luckily they had an extended warranty that covered it, but who wants to spend $1,200 to fix an oven? You know, I guess you can look at it like cars. You know, if you're gonna buy a Ferrari, you're gonna expect expensive repair costs. Just like anything else, when you're gonna buy high end, you're also gotta expect the high cost. People think that appliances are different, that they can invest all this money into this high end appliance and this high end appliance is going to last forever and it's gonna be fairly inexpensive to fix. They're not. Yeah, they're a great appliance, but you have to really understand with repair costs of these, when they break, they're difficult to fix. They're expensive to fix. They do things differently. If you're not the least bit tech savvy, if you have trouble with your iPhone, you're definitely gonna have difficulty setting up their appliance because it's not easy. Well, the delivery guys should know this. Well, my delivery guys are trained to install the appliance properly, level them, hook them up, make sure there's no leaks, whatever they need to do. But as far as how they all function, that's what, that's what we're trained for. We're trained to know how they work, how they function, and how to fix them. The people say, well, gosh, I got this new appliance. Uh, it won't connect to my Wi-Fi or, or it won't run unless you connect to my Wi-Fi. These are things you need to keep in mind. You have to be willing to dig in to find this information and to work with it to make it work or call their technical assistance to have them help you over the phone or unfortunately pay for a service man to come out there to explain it to you. And unfortunately, Mila doesn't cover that. We do our very best to come out and help, but in all cases, if you have it for a while and you come across a feature that you've had six months later, you say you wanna use the feature and you can't figure out how to work well, unfortunately, most servicers are gonna charge you to come out. You're not making a bad decision by buying a meal appliance. They're gonna do everything they say they're gonna do. Just budget for the repair costs if they come because it's expensive and they're custom for that opening and they're custom for that. You can't easily go into your local store and buy a new appliance and have them slide in that same opening without having custom cabinetry work done, uh, maybe electrical, you never know. That is my word of advice on this. Would I shy you away from purchasing a meal appliance? Absolutely not. They're a fine appliance and those of you who have chose to buy Mila, don't take this video as a negative thing because it's not. People that have Mila appliances love them. But on the flip side, like I said, repair costs at a later time. So thanks for watching. If you have any comments, put them below and uh, we will do our best to answer them.